As I recall, I only asked for Luger and Maxwell. We don't trust you spurious people. <laughs> oh, why don't you tell me how you really feel, Dr. Mathis? I didn't expect that much spine from one who claims to support both Spyrix and spirits. <laughs> the accord twixt the two nations has been ratified. Adversity can be a strong foundation for peace. How selfless of you to come all this way to give me your report. Both as a CEO and a citizen, I'm overjoyed. I take it that you're Beasley Bacor. Looking at you, you do appear to be a formidable man. And you, I would presume, must be the true Maxwell. My mirror was true too, you know! You are correct. Every inch as proud as I'd expect from the Lord of Spirits. The Dimensional Abyss has stabilized. Then I shall transfer you the coordinates of the fractured dimension containing the final way marker. Have you uncovered the identity of the last way marker yet? No. That said, you should find it easily enough. Focus your search on the divergence catalyst, as in any other case. If Dr. Mathis and his friends are willing to cooperate, you are sure to succeed. I'll cooperate with Luger, but I do it on my own terms, to fulfill my duty. Indeed, we cooperate because we want to, not because we are ordered to. <laughs> Exercising your own free will, huh? That is humanity's strength. You have some steadfast friends, Luger. <laughs> the final way marker is within our grasp. In this grand endeavor, I wish you Godspeed. You put a lot of trust in Luger. With good reason. The key of Kresnik is mankind's last hope. Only he can overcome Origin's trial. No pressure, right? <sighs> I didn't ex Sheraton, huh? It's been ages. It takes me back to when we all first met. Conductor Ilbert? Yes, I am Rowan Ilbert. I was once the steward for House Cheryl. A pleasure to see you again. How dare you! How dare I what? You take me for an idiot? I don't know who put together that costume of yours, pal, but it's not fooling me. Costume? Don't play dumb. Conductor Ilbert died eight years ago. He was murdered. Have you no shame? Where have you been? It was a big deal in Riza Maxia. King Gaius threw him a state funeral and everything. Huh? Who murdered him? No one knows. They found the body floating in Lake Epsilla in Olympias. Lake Epsilla? Now I've had enough of your sick little joke. Buzz off. Intriguing. A fractured dimension in which I've been murdered. But if everyone here already knows about Olympias, and Rowan died eight years ago, this fractured dimension must be several years ahead of the prime dimension. Anyway, let's investigate the murder scene. Scene was at Lake Epsilla in Olympias, correct? 
That is what they said. But visiting the site of my own murder, I can't say I'm looking forward to this. I wonder if the time capsule we buried is here in this world, too. An interesting question. Shall we visit the manor to see for ourselves? I've had the opportunity to meet scores of humans, but there's something very different about you. I deeply enjoy speaking with you. I don't know what it is about you that makes me feel that way. But that's not why I've troubled you today. I want you to have this. Humans impart meaning into objects, do they not? My intention with this is to express the gratitude that I feel for you every day. It's not just for me. This is a symbol of her gratitude as well. I know that she would have wanted you to have this. Please use it wisely. So, you used to be Drissel's stewer, Rowan? What kind of stews did you make? Stewer? Is that even a word? <laughs> I wasn't her stewer. I was her steward. Oh, I know that word. It's like a handmaid, right? Stewer... steward... Steward is another word for butler. I served Lady Drissel, the Lord of Sheraton. Huh? Rowan wears dresses? Now, now, Elle. The human heart is extremely complex. You need to keep an open mind. Wait, what? It's quite a relief to hear you say that. At first, Lady Drissel had to force me to wear the dress. But when I saw my reflection, I was stunned by my beauty. On that day, I was truly born anew. Huh? Ah, come now, Luger. Don't think too hard on such playful banter. <sighs> this is where the time capsules are, right? Correct. Burying them here was Lady Drussell's idea. Should we dig them up? No, I want to keep mine buried for a while. I promised Elise and Drussell. Very well. Then we shall dig up only mine and Luger's. These are exactly the same time capsules that we buried. Hmm. Interesting. This dimension's history was identical to the Primes, until some point in the past. Perhaps my death was the point at which the two split. The death of a nation's Prime Minister would certainly leave a mark on history. Rowan, don't you want to meet this dimension's Drissel? I'd better not. Nothing good would come of it. I'd be spending so much time with a young man like you. Oh, but ignore my doddering old man nonsense. There's something I want you to have. Speaking with you sends me straight back in time to the vibrant days of my own youth. But sometimes it's not so bad to be a geezer either. <laughs> It's a spyrite. Who found you? Don't go running off like that. Excuse me, but is that a spyrite? Huh? Yeah, what else would it be? Does it ever, you know, lose control of itself? Good heavens, no. I mean, he gets into trouble once in a while, but he's a good little spyrite. 
Where might we learn more about Spyrite technology? Well, you could try the Spurious Corporation, I guess, but I doubt they'll tell you anything worthwhile. It's not really in their interest to spill any secrets. They have a total monopoly on the Spyrite market. Spyrite technology is everywhere in this world. Perhaps the Jude of this dimension could tell us the secret to making Spyrite technology viable. One more question. Have you ever heard the name Jude Mathis? Sure, in school. He's the guy who brought Spyrite technology to the masses. How about that, Jude? Shame how he died, though. It's been a few years, but I still remember all the news stories about that mass murder. All those bodies bobbing in Lake Epsila. Wait, I'm dead too? Clearly, we need to get to this Lake Epsila. It's turning out to be quite the crime scene. It's dying like... like what happened to Mila? <laughs> Jude, what was that weird animal thing? <sighs> Jude? Hello? <sighs> uh, what's this deal? <laughs> what? Why are you suddenly doing backflips? Because you were spacing out. Uh, sorry about that. I was just thinking about those spyrites. That's what you wanted to make all along, right? So, good job? That's true, but I can't help but wonder if their development might be connected to, you know... Can't you just be happy like a normal person? I don't like seeing you moping around like this. It reminds me of... Mila. You're absolutely right, Elle. After all, now I know success is possible. I should be happy about that. Exactly! Kind of like... <laughs> hmm, on second thought, I'll think of a different example. Nature seems to be bouncing back. Jude. This is simply the way Jude is. Please try and understand. Wait, you found something strange in Lake Epsilla? While I was fishing, I reeled it in by accident. Wait a minute, I know that thing. This is, uh, this is the stuffed animal the governor of Sheraton asked us to look for. Right. Apparently, it was that poor little girl's most prized possession. Why did it show up now? She's been dead for years. They never did find the killer, you know. Damn thing's probably cursed. Tipo? Which means the murdered girl was none other than... Elise. What in the world happened at that lake? 
Let's make haste for Lake Epsilla. The culprit must be long gone, but perhaps we can obtain some more information about the deed. Lake. Drellin's so full of restaurants. The entire city smelled fantastic. Mmm. Just thinking about it makes my stomach growl. Really? At a time like this? Clearly all that time in the abyss did nothing to steady your metabolism. Oh, <laughs> food is the fundamental building block of life, Jude. And you can't fight on an empty stomach. Everyone's talking about food and now I'm hungry. As am I. When do you imagine we'll be eating? Your cooking has them all eating out of your hand, Luger. Indeed. Although I understand that El's father is quite the cook in his own right. He sure is. He's the best cook I've ever met in my life. Defeating Luger in the kitchen is no easy feat. I hope I get the opportunity to try his cooking one day. Well, if you're that eager, when I see him again, I'll ask him for you. Maybe he'll take pity on everyone and cook for all of you. I certainly hope he does. Well, that would be most generous of him. Slaves to your appetites. The whole lot of you. <gasps> Everything is so lush. So this is where they found the bodies of all the victims. Does anyone live over there? It's quite the mystery house, I should say. It's not a mystery, because that's where I live. That's my house! I live there with my daddy! Daddy! El! Is that... Really, El's house? How could it be? Daddy. Welcome home, El. Where are the bad guys? They're gone now. Are you okay? Oh, Daddy! <laughs> Mask. <laughs> so that's El's father. Right, it's easy to forget sometimes. In our dimension, this house didn't even exist. Could he be the catalyst? Seems my girl's been in good hands. I'm Victor. Where are my manners? It's been too long since I've had guests. Please, join me for dinner. What do you say, Luger? <laughs> I hope it sufficed. Yes, thank you. You delivered quite a feast. It's pretty tasty stuff, huh? Hmm, it's a close call. You both use similar seasonings in your cooking, so it's tough. But I'm gonna say Victor. The taste just has more depth. These bold flavors and delicate accents are the mark of a true artist. Oh, stop. <sighs> Luger, you should take some cooking lessons from Daddy. <laughs> I haven't enjoyed a meal this much in ten years. I think I ate too much. 
too much. I think it's Daddy's fault for making my favorites. You earned them all, my dear. Victor, there's something I'd like to ask you. You're curious about the mask, I'd wager. My face was scarred in battle long ago. Not that. What is it then? I know what makes her happy. She is dear beyond words to me. <clears throat> I also know that I am a true denizen of this fractured dimension. <clears throat> that would mean L. Yes. My daughter was born with a power that only a few Kresniks have ever possessed. She can manipulate space and time, a skill lost in the Prime Dimension. She's the key of Kresnik? So the power was never Luger's to manifest. He knew the truth of it all along. What are you planning to do with the key? You see, the key has its limits. And you stand in my way, Luger. I don't want to wake my daughter. Let's step out. It's a photograph with the name Lara Marta written on it. This must be Elle's mother. Yeah. Impressive view, yes. Has Spyrite technology been perfected in this dimension? It has, and you perfected it eight years ago. I see. But then, I killed you. <sighs> Why in the world would you do that? I didn't stop at Jude either. I killed you in this dimension as well. Alvin, Leia, and even Elise. I killed you all. You tried to stop me from killing Beasley. Even Julius took your side. Beasley made a grave mistake when he tried to take L from me. I'll ask you again. What are you plotting? I simply wish to live in peace with the real L. But that will never happen as long as he exists. <laughs> Victor, don't tell me you're... A fractured version of Luger? Exactly! I'm the future version of you, and now I shall become... a real you! Hey! What's everybody doing here? Go back inside, honey. We're just having a little talk. Daddy! No need to be frightened, Del. If we go to the land of Canaan, I can make this all go away, I promise. You and I can live happily ever after, Hell. We really can? She's not yours to order around! I'll make a wish to the Spirit Origin to start my life over again! And Elle will be with me, of course. Reborn as my daughter in the Prime Dimension. 
I'll be reborn? That makes no sense. You'll be different people. But we will still be together. Daddy. Everything will be fine. We'll make brand new memories. Huh? Come here. This time, Mommy will be with us, too. No. I don't want that! No! L. His mind! So you lured Luger into this dimension, to trade places with him! Using your own daughter! Yes! I knew El would bring Luger to me! After all, I am the final way marker! What kind of monster manipulates his own daughter like this? What the hell do you know?! What in the... I killed my father and brother for this power! No! no. Stop it! Please, please, just stop! Wait for me. I'll end this. Do a heat wave! Swallow rage! Make charge! Make charge! Disintegrate! It's time! Know the power of a fool! Chromatic! Behold! Form Destroyer! Well played. Disintegrate! Nailing it! Fight. Still fight. Light collapse. Yes. Flame tunnel. As your end. Flame tunnel. Make charge. I'll bind them. Flame tunnel. Look out. You okay? Make charge. Hammer play. I am in your debt. Crusher! Crusher! Form destroyer! Here! Not yet! Killing the timber whale! Hang in there! Please provide support! Land. Hammer! Toss! Hammer Flame! Moonlight Assault! No! Flame Tunnel! How unfortunate. That is an elementary mistake. Dance! How would you... Moonlight Assault! Flame Tunnel! Flame Tunnel! Swallow Rage! Now! Let's show him! Disintegrate! Not yet! Not yet! 
Not yet. Dead eye. As your edge. Bubble as your edge. Earth spike. Time for a duet. Late charge. Please provide support. I can't end. Why you laugh? Wave smasher. An unfortunate sight. Tipped. My apologies. Rapid. Blaze Bloom! Moonlight Assault! Healing Stun Blitz! Scatterbolt! Bubble Blast! Rolling! Thunder! Blaze Bloom! Crossfire! Blaze Bloom! Rapid this cannot be! Bubble Blast! It ends here! Udine! Zero divide! Here! Queen of Destruction! Not good. Conserve your strength. Burn! You're open. Scatterbolt! Crimson Fury! Moon Reflection! Falling Snow! Falling Snow! Hunting Speed! Power Swing! <laughs> Falling Snow! This can't be! Moonlight Assault! Twin Lotus! Not yet! Crushing Blow! Hungry Hunter! Hunter! Oh. Nothing gets by me! Hammer! Sorry! Flame tunnel! Azure Edge! Falling! This can't be! Cannot be! Twin Lotus! Yeah! Buddha Reflection! Hammer! Toss! Wave Smasher! Hungry Hunter! Never! Healer! My collapse! Not yet. Daddy, this can't be happening. El, I'm sorry. We had no choice. My body. Daddy. Damn. I'm already out of time. Listen, Luker. There is a limit to how much you can use your power. A limit? Wait. Does that mean... You've become a divergence catalyst? All power comes with a price to pay. That's just the way it is. <laughs> you see? So that's why you chose to be reborn. <laughs> Luger! <laughs> Going to choose. Please take care of Vel. Open the path to Canaan. Complete Origins trial.
Where's El? She's becoming a catalyst. But why would something like that even happen? Unless the power really is within L. <clears throat> We're not going to figure this out here. Let's find a room in Drellin. This must be so hard for Luga. And there's nothing we can do. Even the Lord of Spirits is powerless to help. Elle's not doing so good. Is the catalyst sickening her? No, she's been traumatized. I mean, she just saw her father... <laughs> Oh, sorry. I know it's not like you had a choice in the matter. I'm worried about her. And you. How are you holding up? You're a strong person. Witnessing your own death would be a shock to anyone. I can't imagine. <coughs> Don't push yourself too hard. We're alive, for better or worse, and that means we have a duty to fulfill. Is it spurious? Luger, we've confirmed the retrieval of the final way marker. Please proceed to Rize Harbor in Marksburg immediately. What's the plan? We'll depart tomorrow. Tonight, we should rest. A wise course of action. <sighs> you must be starving, right? Luger made us some tasty soup. No. I don't want it! I only want my daddy's soup and this isn't it! It's never gonna be right, just like you're never gonna be my daddy! I want my daddy! Why'd you have to do that to him? Are you okay? Are you... <laughs> It'll heal in no time. Wait, you're gonna make more? But... Do whatever you need to do. I'll help, if that's all right. Your arm is still injured. All done? I'm sorry that I can't do more for you. I'm just happy knowing that a future like that might even be in the cards. It helps me believe I can do it. I can perfect Spyrite technology. 
I was trying to cheer you up, but here you are making me feel better. You know, I think she'll understand someday. It's good. Luger, I, I ran away because I realized something. When somebody leaves you, when they disappear, you never get to taste their cooking again. just protecting me, weren't you? Keeping me safe. From my daddy. Elle, are you okay? Luger, hey, do you have a moment? Sorry to pester you again, but... I'm sorry. I know you do. Just doing my job. Sad as it is, even at times like this, the world still marches on. And considering our place in that world, we shouldn't expose El to any more danger. Rowan, can you find a safe place for El to stay while we see this through? I'll see what I can come up with. Are you leaving me behind because I'm a fake? then. We'll take her with us. <laughs> what a peaceful little town. When you're in a place like this, it feels as though the whole world is untouched by war. Elle, dear, are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Nothing matters anymore anyway. 
Luger, how's the burn on your left hand? The same thing? You knocked a pot of soup onto Julius? Is that why he continually wears a glove? To hide the scar from the burn? I imagine that must have pained you across the years. Yeah. I can only guess that L must be feeling the same way about hurting you. When you're close with someone, conflicts are bound to occur. But rarely are they strong enough to break the bonds you share. You're right. That's what a family is. Profound advice from a man who still can't claim a family of his own, even at this old age. <laughs> it may not be too late. Why not start one now? A tempting invitation, but one I'm afraid I must decline. You all have given me as wonderful a family as I could ever have hoped for. And of course, I include you in that, Luger, as well as El. Man, in the space of a year, everyone's fashion sense sure has evolved. No kidding. Especially Muse's. I find her new dress quite dignified. A fine choice for a great spirit. It isn't a dress at all. That comes straight from Muse. She's manifested her spirit powers in a clothing-like form, but technically, she's completely naked. Naked? C completely Are you so surprised? It was no different for Undine and Efreet. Does that mean... Mila too? Completely naked? I, I don't know anything about Mila's situation. How can you stay so quiet, Luger? Say something! No one wants to hear about you being naked! The vividness of that image has brought me to my senses. Sorry, this is my fault for speaking so carelessly. Thanks for bailing us out there. That conversation was about to take a very dangerous turn. You have my gratitude. Incidentally... I hope you were kidding when you said you're naked when you transform. <laughs> Let's keep it up! 